As with most four wheel drive tourer builds, our Ford Ranger is going to need some dependable power, 12 volt and 240, as well as running fridges and camp lights while we're traveling. Our photography crew's got some pretty heavy demands for power. We need to be able to charge drones, we need to be able to charge laptops, we need to be able to charge camera gear each evening while in camp. We need to meet those demands while preserving the vehicle's starting battery so there's something under the bonnet when we twist the key the next day. To do this, of course, we need a dual battery management system, which most people are familiar with. Australia's Red Arc has been a leader in this technology for the last 40 years, so it was pretty much a no-brainer for us to turn to the Adelaide-based company for everything we need in the Ranger. So, let's take a look at what's inside. To explain our Ford Ranger's system's capability to us, to show us what it's all about, is Red Arc's Cameron Bleakley. What do we have, Cameron? Well, GT, the heart of any dual battery system is the charger. Now with the Ranger, we're running the Manager 30, which is actually a three-in-one battery charger. So three different inputs that we can have running into this, this Manager. So what are they? So we've got vehicle, of course. So yes. while you're driving the Ranger, you want to be charging your batteries, but 240 as well. So before you go on your trip, if you're at home or if you're at a powered site. Yeah, like you can... shore power in a caravan park, for instance. Exactly right. You can plug straight into the wall and your batteries will be charged, ready to go for the next morning. And of course, solar as well. So the battery management system is only one component of the total system that we're using in the back of the Ranger. We're actually using the Red Vision system. So the Red Vision system consists of the battery management system's charger. So that takes care of charging our batteries from those three inputs. But it also comes with a distribution box, which we can see up on the wall there. The distribution box has all the wiring in our electrical system wired into it. So all our electrical circuits, such as the fridge, the lighting, the water pump, anything electrical you want to run goes straight into that distribution box. The third main component of the system is the screen. So it's like the hub of the system, yeah, the center of the wheel. That's right. So you can visually see everything through the screen and control everything through the screen as well. You can even remotely control your inverter and get feedback from the inverter as well. So it'll tell us exactly how many volts are coming out your inverter and how many watts as well. So for you guys, when you're out plugging in your camera batteries, you can see, can I keep adding more batteries to my inverter? Can it handle it? It'll tell you exactly on this screen how many watts are actually being used. This system also has the ability to monitor up to six water tanks. In this system we've got here, we've got two water tanks fitted at the moment. Well, that'll keep the crew happy. Yeah, absolutely. Once again, it's all about being able to manage your system. So if it can handle an Aussie desert trip, it's got to be uh, <laughs> pretty good gear. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we have our full test and validation um, facilities on site at Red Arc Factory, but also being located in Australia, we know what it takes to build a product that's able to handle the harsh environment that we have in this country. Well, that's all pretty good news for us with our little Ford Ranger. We've got uh, plenty more adventures planned for this vehicle. So uh, Cameron, thank you very much for your time. No worries. Thank you. Cheers. Appreciate it.